So now guys, we're about to cook our chicken adobo. Hey guys, it's me, Carlo, and welcome back to my channel, and we're back with another video. So, today, guess what? For today's episode, I am going to be a chef. What? Yes, you heard me, right? A master chef, a handsome, amazing chef. So, I'm about to cook dinner for the fam, and the food that I will be going to cook for today is... My favorite Filipino food, chicken adobo. Hope it will be taste great. But before that, let's get some ingredients and go to our dining area. Transitions in 3, 2, 1. Alright guys, so I am here right now in our kitchen. And these are the ingredients that we're really going to be used in cooking our chicken adobo. Alright guys, so now we have our chicken over here. It is one kilogram of chicken and we have also a sugar and we have the potato. My mom usually put potatoes in adobo, chicken adobo. And then we have our bay leaves and whole pepper. We have eggs over here for us to boil eggs. And we have a oil, cooking oil. So we need to saute the garlic and onions and also this is our garlic right here and then the onion. We have the soy sauce and vinegar as well and then we have a one cup of water. So this are the ingredients that we will be going to use in making chicken adobo. And let's proceed in cooking area. So now guys, we're about to cook our chicken adobo for today's dinner for the pan. So all you need to do is preheat your pan and then wait until this is preheated. And then while waiting, you need to put of course the oil or cooking oil or if you prefer some uh, cooking oils there or coconut oils, that's much, pretty much okay. And then Wait until the pan overheats already and then you're ready to go with oil, all some stuffs. And then the hot, you need to saute garlic and the uh, onions as well. Stir them, mix it well. So adobo is really pretty much easier to cook because you need to mix it well and then step by step you put the layers or the ingredients layer by layer. And then you're ready to go. So after you saute the garlic and onion until you find it it's golden brown, you can now put the chicken, which is I'm going to put the chicken adobo. So the measurement that I will be going to put is one kilogram. So now we're put. This is already washed before I cook or set up the ingredients as well. Oh, I need to. I don't know where's the... because it's still blood. And we put the chicken. Chicarlo. I called it Chicarlo. What? Chicken a la carlo. Stop it. Okay. Yeah. You can also stir it up as well. Wait the chicken to be golden brown and then turn it up. Okay. 
So guys, I usually cook for the fam. Usually if I have no schedule at all. So for example, I have no work, I have no school, I can cook for them as a thank or uh, appreciation. Because my dad is an executive sous chef, sous chef, sorry, what? on a ship, so I'm asking his ideas or he will be the judge for this program. So after that, you can wait for a couple of minutes until the chicken will be golden brown. So let's wait. Few moments later. All right now, so guys, the chicken has been already grilled golden brown. And then we need to turn this side up. So my family is now hungry right now because I'm still working a lot because you know I've been setting up this production, the lightning, the camera angles and setups and art designs. Wow! Um, we can't wait to taste this. Um, right guys, so after that Let's put some toyo or soy sauce. And a little bit of sugar. So it might taste very not so sweet but it's not too salty. So yeah. And some alaradian, again yun ng sugar yung uh joanin yo on the sweet kayo. Paano masabi? Maging bitter. And after that, I'm gonna put the potato as well. So that it might boil up or soften the potato. Let's wait some couple of minutes. Three days later. So guys, I think the potato is already been soft. So let's proceed to our next ingredient. So let's continue to put this. We need to put the whole pepper. Mix it well with all the spices and then the bay leaves or laurel leaves and then you will put the chicken cubes to make the taste so good so it depends on you guys if you will put some seasoning stuffs and then we'll add some a little bit more <laughs> water won't be my too salty or my too sweet. So the taste must be so consistent. You can mix it well so that the spices can absorb the chicken itself. math later so guys while waiting for the adobo to be cooked let's do some tiktok so guys maybe you are all wondering why I put so many sauce in there because my mom usually put some sauce to be more ear and sauce so guys for the final stage I will be putting 
the last ingredient with which is the vinegar. I'll put some of these vinegar. And then I'll close it. So guys, if you put some vinegar already, don't ever try to mix it up because the taste will be more raw. It will be raw. Raw. <laughs> or mahihilaw in Tagal. Let's wait for a couple of minutes to be served. So, I will give you one piece of advice, guys. So, if magjojowa kayo ng a girl or a boy, he or she know how to cook well, hindi puro ML lang. Oh, God, please, no! So, guys, if you will be cooking a double like this, it shouldn't be taste like sinigang or alamang because this is a double. Pochero to, Jed! Pochero! Hindi to apritada! Pochero! Paborito mong ulam! It really tastes well. So good. One long angry line later. So guys, and now, for the last stage, let's do the taste testing. So my mom will gonna taste my adobo for today's dinner. She will judge my cooking lesson. Here is my beautiful mommy. Hello guys. Yeah. So tikim tikim na. Let's do the tasting. Alright guys, so my mom already tasted it and it was so good. Tingnan natin ha. Sige. So, my adobo has cooked. And let's do a quick montage of my finished product. Let's go! And let's get ready to be served to the fam. And now for the final stage is Daddy will gonna taste our adobo for the night. <laughs> that was it. Good. Good. So as all you know, my dad is a chef in the cruise ship. That's it, you all. Alright guys, so that's it for today's episode of my vlogging diaries. Hope you guys enjoyed. As I said earlier, I usually cook for the fam and tried some of my dad's dishes and used to cook some Filipino foods that I know. But it tastes good and also you can do this with your fam so that you can bond with them, especially in these trying times. We hold on tight on each other, but before we end this video, I just want to do some shout outs to my cousins out there, my brother Miko and Shaq. Thank you guys, see you soon. Thank you guys for tuning. I love you guys. Anyways, that's it for our vlog today, and don't forget to like, 
share and subscribe and comment down below on what to do next or your suggestions and I'm looking forward to see you in the next vlogging diaries. Peace!